You know, it's been a while since we reacted to some scheme content, and your boy is in need of some good cheer right now. So, let's go ahead and get this party started. Intro! Yo, what is good, fam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all. We are about to get into some cringe, apparently, and no, I'm not, when I say cringe, I don't mean that in regards to the host of this vidya, which is none other than the homie Wee Scheme, shout out to the homie Wee Scheme, you know what I'm saying, in case you guys um, may not have noticed, or you may have forgotten, uh, Scheme and I do have a collab together on my channel, uh, he and I covered Linkin Parks in the end, um, I'll be sure to, uh, the, the JJV's personal best playlist where you can find said cover. You know what I'm saying? If you want to check that out after this video. But until then. So, Scheme just dropped this video called YouTube is Cringe. Um, yeah. And I cannot say he is wrong. Because he is not wrong. So, but anyway, we're going to go ahead. We're we going to get into this one. Because like I said, it's been a while. It's been a while since we reacted to some wee Scheme. It's been a while. So let's go ahead and get into YouTube is cringe, hosted by none other than the man we scheme. But I can hear here. A lot of you guys have said you've missed my ranting and ravings about certain topics in the world. My bad, y'all. I didn't realize I had the volume down low. Let me, let's try that again. Take two. A lot of you guys have said you've missed my ranting and ravings about certain topics in the world. It's kind of harder for me. I, I know I enjoy watching uh, schemes, rantings, and ravings. So let's go ahead and, and rant and rave on. To figure out what topics to rant and rave about because I've gotten increasingly good at just ignoring the world. If I had any sort of notoriety, I would have a social media team that handled Twitter and everything. I would never log into those kind of apps again. And when it comes to apps I actually do use. You know, um, ordinarily I'd be against having a team to run your shit. But when, when Scheme puts it that way, I mean... It does sound rather enticing. I'm just saying. Anyway. I train those algorithms to never show me anything I don't want to see. And if I go back to it and it's still doing the same thing, I just never use that app. Because if the app's not going to learn to stop showing me crap, I'm not going to use it. Usually the algorithm... Exactly. It's a pointless app. I mean, if an app's not doing what it's designed to do, then what's the point of keeping it? Bruh. Why, why, are, why is there such a thing as redundant apps? Rhythms figure that out and stop showing me crap I don't want to see, except for Instagram. I can't spend more than three seconds on Instagram. That app has no idea what I want to see, apparently, and Threads seems to be the same way. But I digress. For me to find something to rant and rave about to you guys... Is and don't get me started with Instagram, man, because I barely go on Instagram. I've only just started being more active on Instagram. So if you send me messages on Instagram and I don't respond to you right away, don't take it personal. I, I just don't really go on there that often. Um... <clears throat> like I said, I've only just started getting active with it, you know, because, yeah, a lot of my friends who I'm active with on YouTube are active over there. So, you know, and I like to interact with my friends. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Aside from what I just ranted and raved about, we're going to have to go incognito mode. So my plan here is to jump into YouTube fully signed out, which means I'm going to have to be subject to ads and stuff. But I think that whatever YouTube recommends by default will probably be enough to piss me off generally. Let's go dumpster diving. Prime Day deals. Jeez, this dude's... F I mean, <laughs> YouTube do be on... Do be on something. I'm just saying. Face. That face, man. I'm not watching Mukbang. Man, if any form of content should be banned, it should be Mukbang. I, I, I say Mukbang should be banned because there's a lot of horror stories when it comes to Mukbang. I mean, we all know what happened to, what's that dude's name? Nick, 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 Nicado Avocado? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. No budget target shopping challenge? How is that a challenge? How is not having a budget a cha- These two look obnoxious. We we yeah, I fail to see how it's a challenge when you don't have a budget. And by the way, it must be nice to not have a budget. You got cringe content like this with um, 686k morons watching some shit like this. And you got, you know other folks 
on YouTube, and no, I'm not even in, in, including myself, you know what I mean, because I don't hold myself in that, in that high of a regard, because, you know, I'm not a narcissist like that, but, um, I mean, you do have people in the community, like, 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 like the homies, you know what I'm saying, that be putting out some quality stuff, and they have trouble getting views, why, why, YouTube, I thought it was called YouTube, lately, it's been feeling more like MeTube, I'm just saying, we're, we're going in, can I connect pairs of dots without crossing oh, lines? Oh, yeah, ads. Of course I can. How I haven't missed you. A little swoop there. So in this and this is why we invest into YouTube Premium. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, I'm not saying Steam doesn't have it, because, you know, because like he said earlier, if he, was, I'm sure if he was logged in, he wouldn't have to worry about ads, you know, because he's smart enough to get YouTube Premium. Um, so, yeah, but when you're logged out of your account, you have to deal with ads, which sucks. Video, we are giving ourselves a no budget shopping spree at Target. Because we love a good sister competition, we are timing this. Hold on, I probably shouldn't be rotating my. Well, instead of saying no budget challenge, why didn't you just say time challenge? I mean, that would have been the smart title to have on your video. But then again, to let people know that you are rich as fuck and let them see uh, what you look like tells really just how smart you really are. I'm just saying. My view because it'll be harder to edit later. You're welcome, future me. Both only have 30 minutes each to buy whatever we want at Target. So we're each going to go our separate ways and shop. Hold on, hold because on. we love a good sister competition, we are timing this. We both only have 30 minutes each to buy whatever we want at Target. So the challenge is you have 30 minutes to buy whatever you want. Huh? How many subscribers do they have? 9.4 million subscribers. All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> How sad is that? Some of us have trouble getting subs, right? Getting views. But meanwhile, you got bullshit like that on here. You know what I'm saying? That's got like millions of people subscribed to it. And you got hundreds of thousands of people actually. And out of those millions of people, you got hundreds and thousands of people, you know what I mean, who are apparently so damn bored and have nothing better to do with their time but to watch stuff like that what the hell youtube what the hell you do realize you know the more content creators you help the more cha-ching you you roll in right i mean i'm just saying y'all need to be better i'm just saying so guys, this is like a totally difficult challenge. I have to try to spend money in 30 minutes. That means I'll have to walk. Oh my god. I hate- I, I like when Ski does his, his Valley Girl impression. Let's go. These people already. Then at the end of the video, we're gonna meet back up and give each other a haul of what we bought at Target and see which sister bought the better items. The better items? It's not about who spends more? Wouldn't it just be- The better items? Okay, you do realize better is a subjective term, right? I mean- wouldn't it make more sense to see who spent the most money, who bought the more the, the most valuable items? You see how much more interesting that would be? But I mean they're getting the views, so obviously they're doing something right, I guess. Why? It'd be simpler to see who spends the most money. How do you just Right? determine what's better? What is this? This challenge was already stupid, but now it's even less interesting. I don't even and he's not wrong. I need to watch this. This is going to be cancer. It's just a haul video. Scrubbing through this. Nikki wins. Congratulations. Yay, Nikki, I guess. What the wow. f*** did she buy in 30 minutes? In 30 minutes, that's what you bought. At least that's probably only a few hundred dollars at most of stuff, I guess. I don't even know what the point of this is. I mean, to her credit, I mean, I guess she bought some really useful stuff. I mean, at least stuff that's useful to her. So, yay, I guess. Bruh. What is, what, what value is gained watching this? I don't even know how to be. None whatsoever. And I know he's, he's, um, it, it was a rhetorical question, but I mean. Bruh, anyway. I'm mad at it because I'm more confused. Who's sitting here for 13 minutes? 
I know. I like. I like. I. I can't. And what What makes me mad is that I can't be mad at stuff like that because hey, I. I, I respect the hustle. I respect the grind. You know what I mean. Make whatever content you want. Get your grind on. Get your bread. Get your paper. You know what I mean. So I can't even be upset for these these, these gals doing their thing. Whatever works for you, I guess. But I mean, damn YouTube. It's going. She's shopping at Target. It's such a cool challenge. What can they find in 30 minutes? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. Stuff that they sell at Target? Oh, <laughs> news, news, podcasts, news. What's with all the news stuff? I, I oh yeah. Even if you do have an account and you're and you're subscribed to people that you would rather watch other than the news, YouTube be forcing the news down your throat. You know what I mean? Like there's, oh my God. If you go to like, um, like the main portion of the page while logged in, no matter what, there's always new stuff that they want you to watch. You know what I mean? Unless you go to your, uh, subscriptions, uh, page and then to see like, you know, content from the people that you're subscribed to. It's like, that's the only way to get to the people you're, you're subscribed to. But it's like, I mean, but the algorithm should be working in a way where you shouldn't have to do that. It should just be the automatically like, Whoever that you're subscribed to, when they got a new video out, it should be in the main page. But I mean, it, I don't know, man. YouTube, you, like I said, YouTube be on one. Does YouTube think that when you log into YouTube, you just want to watch the news? Chris Paul, see. Apparently, because a lot of people be watching the news on YouTube, which makes no sense to me because the same people who I bet watch these news clips be watching the news on TV. So what's the point? And then look, look at this. Like, is that what YouTube has become? Or is everyone just like, I need to check the news. Let me go on YouTube. Do I need to just make a news channel? YouTube is trying to be the next television. That's basically what they're doing. And that's why they're pushing all the, like the news and other stuff that you don't want to watch. They're trying to be, they're trying to take over TV basically, which I don't get it. I don't see the appeal of it. And he's about to get into, I did watch a little bit of this. And he's about to get into um, something that I've noticed. And yes, people are getting more into TikToks, which is true because YouTube now, has, as you guys know, if you've been on YouTube for a good minute, whether you're a content creator or just a regular viewer, you guys know they now have shorts on YouTube and people seem to be watching the shorts more. I know because I was experimenting with the, with the shorts on my channel and I find that my shorts get more views than regular videos. So yeah, YouTube, um, I appreciate you trying to compete with TikTok. I appreciate you trying to keep up with the competition, but I mean, you, there's still other things you can do to be better about, you know, being better than the competition. I'm just saying. Oh, geez. Relaxing skincare compilation. Oh boy. I built a boat. Okay, Mr. Beast wannabe. Good for you. Who are not tri- <laughs> He said Mr. Beast wannabe. Let's go. <laughs> triplets. Five sets of triplets versus one fake. Oh, that's the odd one out there. It's, it's cringe, but at least I can understand someone wanting to watch that. Here's the news again. Mr. Beast clone. The news. The news. Actual Mr. Beast. Uh, I guess this is cops, but not called cops. The news, just sports news. Sharpest knife on a tuna. This is what YouTube says YouTube's all about. You've never used this app before. This is what they're, this is. Which is kind of funny because when YouTube first got started, it was all about cat videos. Who remembers that? And and I probably aged myself when when even I remember when when YouTube first came around. It was nothing but people posting cat videos all the damn time. That's what it was. And then more people started realizing, oh no, it's a video sharing site. So let's you know all share our our interests and our passions. You know what I mean? Because you know YouTube. But like I said, it, it YouTube is has not really been YouTube um, in quite some time. It's it's more like them tube or me tube, however you want to however you want you want to spin it. But from what they're trying to push upon us, the content creators and or the viewers, it's been more about them than it has been about us. At least that's the vibe we're getting. I'm just saying. This is how they're gonna s hook, line, and sink you. Here's a bunch of news articles, a bunch of Mr. Beast clones, the actual Mr. Beast, and girls shopping at Target. And, and yet YouTube is confused as to why TikTok 
is more popular. It shouldn't be that confusing. If, if this is the content that you're shilling out to someone who's never used your platform, why? Maybe you should start by like asking people what their interests are. I noticed that YouTube didn't do that most apps when you log in the first time or start a guest account. Or That's true. And you know what's funny? I, they did used to, I, me I remember when I signed up, they did used to um, ask you, what are your interests? Like what, what are, what are you on, uh, this uh this site for like what is the kind of content you want to see and i would tell them you know like whether it's automotive sports uh you know what i mean and just whatever else that they had at the time that sparked my interest and um and for a while and well this is of course before google went and bought youtube so you know it's basically how google wants to run youtube at the end of the day but i mean and I wish someone else would buy it. Elon Musk, please buy YouTube. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that they used to do, it used to be much more user friendly, you know what I mean? And they really did a lot of things to emphasize the you in YouTube. But now it's just like, it's it, it doesn't feel like that anymore. And it hasn't been for years. Or whatever. I'll say, what are your interests? Off camera, I tried to make a new YouTube account. And and uh, another thing, well, and something that they try to do now, especially for us content creators, is like when we're uploading videos and stuff, there will be a, a tab or uh, a bar where if you want to take a survey, and in that survey, they basically ask you, you know, all these weird questions that I really don't want to get into. It's, yeah, it's just a weird survey. Let's put it that way. Instead of using a guest login, and it still didn't ask me what my interests were, it's just, whoa, the, the, the news. You're interested in the news, right? Why don't the kids watch us anymore? Why are they on that TikTok app? I don't know, maybe because you recommended the news? I and TikTok doesn't? Nor do other uh, video sharing sites that are on the rise? That other pe that your content creators, you know, your, your, your lifeline are now, you know, migrating off to like bumble or yeah bumble rumble no bumble something else it's rumble there's bit shoot uh what else is there odyssey um twitch kick like i'm hearing about all these other sites that people are just are now uploading their, their content to because again youtube is not taking care of the content creators you know the content creators that really should be highlighted nobody wants to watch tv on youtube people go to youtube to escape from tv on youtube you know the platform where you make the tv shows it's in your name youtube the thank you all point is individual small creators not the goddamn news thank you youtube yeah Right! Emotional damage! Anyway, um, anybody know any other platforms besides TikTok that I can upload to that's actually, you know, about creators instead of the fucking news? Let me know. See you later. Hey, before- Yeah, I, I too would like to know of other sources, you know, I mean, other video sharing sites that are more about the creator and not, you know, what we're watching on TV or what we can watch on TV. You blew it. Anyway. So that was We Scheme with YouTube is cringe. And I agree with him 100%. Definitely mashing the like button on this one. Because, you know, I got love for the homie We Scheme. You know what I'm saying? I love his content. And I, and I know some of you who be watching this, y'all be loving his content too. Which is why I highly encourage y'all to go click on the link for the original video if you want to watch it on your own free time. Uninterrupted as you would like. I'm sure Scheme would appreciate that. And feel free to let him know that the homie Jason JV done sent you. I'm sure he would appreciate that, as would I. And, uh, yeah. So, until the next one, y'all. If you're feeling the vibes here, by the way, y'all know the drill. Y'all know what to do. I don't got to tell you anymore. Y'all been on here long enough to know what to do. So, with all that being said, it is your boy Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Bathos. What happened to that dude on the street? Who's saying what's up to you? Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. You're sad. You're sad. You're sad. You're happy. I'm too happy.
Don't be expecting shit. It's why I throw you curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!